Grade 3 Math, Lesson 12. This is a review of the properties we've covered, the properties of addition. We covered the commutative property, the identity property, and the associative property of addition so far. So, the commutative property of addition says it doesn't matter which direction you add the numbers, you're going to get the same answer. 2 plus 3 or 3 plus 2. Either way, it's going to be 5. To get more information on it, you can see video number 5. Identity property of addition says that you can add 0 and keep your identity. Any number plus 0 is still going to be that number. 2 plus 0 is still going to be 2. 0 doesn't change its identity. See video 4 to get the full video. For the associative property of addition, which is also called the grouping property, you can group numbers in different ways and still get the same sum. If you have 2 plus 3 plus 1 and you group in parentheses, that's what these are, they're called parentheses, if you group them and add them first, 2 plus 3 is 5, and then add 1, it'll equal 6, right? But if you add the 3 plus 1 first, which is 4, and then you add the 2, it'll still equal 6. So it doesn't matter which ones you group together, it's still going to equal 6. That's the associative property, also called the grouping property. See our last video, number 11, to see the full video. So remember, these are our properties of addition. Don't confuse them with properties of multiplication. Those are a little different. See you next video.